24 hours a day. It was a great thing. Special guest time, Rachel. Sure is. With us is Mom on the Run, which oh. is probably an understatement. She's uh, in the business of caring and cooking for, count them, six kids, all oh. present. She has a degree in psychology, childhood <laughs> education. And she would need one. And the real-life fun of raising six uh, six kids. <laughs> Uh, she is Colleen Burns, and she has loads of creative ideas for healthy and easy-to-do meals. Welcome, Colleen. Thank you for having me. Nice to talk to you guys today. Thanks for being there. And let, let the, first tell us the age range yes. of the six kids. Uh, well, they're not all home anymore. The youngest is 13. The Aww. oldest is 24. Um, but I love the real-life fun of raising <laughs> six boys. That's a good <laughs> way to day put to it. Day. Uh, I can only imagine, but, you know, I have one of my doctors. I don't want to take too much time on this. My One of my doctors has eight kids, and I oh. said, it must be awesome when you hit that door. They all come running. He said, yeah, it is pretty pretty crazy but pretty fun. Colleen, yeah. how can we make meals quick but mainly healthy? Well, you know, the holidays are just around the corner, and our calendar is filling up with all those social commitments and everything going on during the week. It's harder and harder to get in that crucial quality family time. At our house, if we can get in even a couple of nights of the week where my family's all together for dinner, I consider it a win. Nice. So I make the most of those nights. And, you know, it's not, there's nothing wrong with turning to your freezer on those busy evenings because you may be surprised mm -hmm. to learn that many frozen meals actually have fewer calories, fat, and sodium levels than the average homemade recipe. And they can serve as a great mm -hmm. base for a balanced meal as long as you balance it with some healthy side dish. Um, and then that way, I'm not spending the entire evening cooking a full meal from scratch. I can focus instead that attention on my family. Um, and, you know, so even consider pizza. It's something that everyone loves. It's simple. And it can be part of a nutritious, balanced meal as long as you have the right portions and you have a healthy side dish sure. of fresh fruits or vegetables. Um, I like DiGiorno's that's pepperoni right. crispy pan pizza because it comes in its own pan. Mm. So that's, you know, doesn't get any easier than that, right? Mozzarella melts over the Don't edge. Don't even have to wash dishes, right? Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. And then it's the way that the pan is structured, too, is really helpful because it makes the crust caramelize with the mozzarella. And you put it in your oven for 20 minutes. It gives you 20 minutes to just whip together the rest of the meal. My kids love doing interactive stuff. So while that's in the oven, we make a salad bar. We do some kind of thing with, like, sure. lettuce wraps and I have them put their favorite veggies in the lettuce wrap, add a little dressing, and you can either chop the vegetables in advance or you can have your family help you with that because then that's a process where you're I, talking through all of that instead of just waiting till you sit down to dinner to do the conversation. Um, and then if you have leftovers. I love that idea. Yes, because, you know, they want to help, and you're learning about nutrition. If you're having them help you, you can let them know why you're having what you're having that night for dinner. Um, but mm -hmm. you know, if you have extra leftover chopped up vegetables, great. The next night you can use it for stir fry. You have a degree in psychology, so tell us exactly, we have a major problem in this country, and it's childhood obesity. Mm. Uh, yes. How much of that fits into what you're going to make for dinner when you have those opportunities to have a family dinner time? Well, you know, the number one thing is to look at labels because, you know, as you're saying, obesity, it's huge. And the problem is that a lot of us don't understand what we're reading on those labels because sugar That's is in like true. more than half yeah. of our food. But we don't know that it's sugar because it goes by about seven different names. So you need to be educated mm -hmm. about what you're looking for on the labels. But certainly sugar is hidden in so many foods. And the closer you can get to something that's whole um, and you know natural and not uh, processed, then the better off you're going to be. But certainly, you can find even frozen foods. You can find frozen foods without artificial ingredients. You always want to be mindful of looking at labels for calories, for fat, and especially for sugar, like you're saying, because it is a ridiculous problem that we really need to focus on as parents. Um, because you, you're teaching your children their eating habits for the rest of their lives, and you're also That's for sure, and you're also setting them up for a really tough life if they're already obese before, you know, they get into high school, because that's never going to be yeah. an easy task to lose weight at that age. Any, any good quick fixes made from leftover? How about for packing lunches? Because Ooh. it's too easy for kids to take money to school and eight go to the vending machine and eat, you know? Yeah. Right, right. And, well, we were just talking about maybe these, like, lettuce wraps and things like that. You can also, like, make little fruit skewers. Um, have your kids mm. pick out their favorite fruits. Put them on a little skewer, put that in a plastic bag, put it in the, your kid's lunch. But they can help, you know, put together the fruits they want on there because then it, it looks fun. It was fun making it. 
Um, that's an easy thing to do. I also like to do a lot of the prep work over the weekend because, you know, when you're cooking, a lot of the work is really the chopping. It's not so much heating it up. Oh, gosh. So over the weekend, right. when I have a little more time, that's when I like to prep the food, cut up the vegetables, that kind of thing, so that when it comes time to eat, um, it's an easier process. It sounds like you really put uh, a lot of homework into your food, and, and it really doesn't take that long to learn how to read labels. I mean, it's a little bit of an education, but where can we go for some more information? Do you have any, any specific website, or what, what can I we do? I do, Rachel. You can find some great recipes and some tips for making easy, nutritious meals for your family at nestleusa.com slash balance. They have a program called Balance Your Plate, mm. and this is just a great way to you know, look up some nice nutritious uh, recipes using some frozen and fresh foods together to have a nutritious balanced meal for your family. I think you've made it a lot easier for those of us who are trying to keep everyone healthy, and there is a big responsibility in that. As you said, you're, you're setting the kids for their lifetime of eating. It's mm -hmm. also good to see that more males have gotten into cooking, mm -hmm. yes. and because now it's because both sexes eat, so they might as well make the stuff too. Colleen, thank you so much for your input, and we'll take a look at the website and see what we come up with. Great. We're Rod thank Ray. You. and.